doing? Release Shinojo this instant! Stop this at once. It's the Yashiro Commissioner. <sighs> well, we take orders from our master. No one else! Really? Then please, excuse me. Battle formation! Get them! Cascade! I must withdraw. Soldiers, quick! Solidify! I swear by my sword! Be still! Withdraw! Kamisato Ark, Suyu! Draw! I must order guide! Blast! Let's go! We must report to Master right away! Hey! Get back here! No need to follow them. We need bait to catch the fish anyway. Leave them be. I think I saw a key fall to the ground during the fight. Let's free Shinojo first. Mm, but... In all the chaos, it must have been kicked to one side. Hmm. Where did it end up? What the? It's a tanuki? Oh, don't tell Paimon that the tanuki took it! Let's follow it and see. Stabilize!
Thank you. Thank you. It was terrifying. They said they were gonna throw the cage into the sea with me still inside. Oh, wait! You have to listen to me. Lady Chisato's wedding. They... It's all part of a scheme. Someone's trying to use the wedding for their own ends. Calm down, Shinojo. It's okay. We know about all that. Huh? Our suspicions were roused to this possibility, and so far, everything is unfolding rather as we expected. Those behind this plan are not going to give up easily. Their next move is imminent. We must devise sufficient countermeasures. Yashiro Commissioner, you're personally going to take action? This situation has consequences for the whole Tri-Commission, and the stability of all Inazumas at stake. My hitherto neutral stance ends now. <sighs> The Almighty Shogun has always despised these pathetic power games. As a commissioner, I am a servant of the Shogun, and it is therefore my duty to handle these tiresome matters on her behalf. Hmm, that's true. Shinojo, don't return to your post yet. Find somewhere safe and stay hidden. Traveler, Paimon, let's get out of here. Well, if it isn't the Yashiro Commissioner. I hear you showed up here with no explanation and attacked my men. You wouldn't happen to be carrying out some sort of secret mission, now would you? I heard that someone was taking the law into their own hands. As a responsible official of Inazuma, I could not in good conscience stand idly by. Shinojo may be your retainer. But the law does not grant you the right to abuse him. Abuse? Nonsense. I was just teaching him a lesson. Out of nowhere, a low-ranking officer decides to barge in on Lady Haragi and start spouting out the most absurd and insulting nonsense one can imagine. A truly egregious loss of decorum. I dare say, the poor lady was terrified. So... You're saying that you know absolutely nothing of the reasons for his actions. Because otherwise, why would you describe it as out of nowhere? Two people from two different clans are getting married. That's all there is to it. And yet this young gentleman took it upon himself to fabricate a nonsensical disaster story around it. How should I know what he was thinking? Even if she marries into the Kujo clan... Lady Horagi will always be the daughter of the Horagi clan, and the most distinguished member of the Konjo Commission. We are, and always will be, her loyal assistants. It's our duty to see that she never has to worry about anything. Loyalty and duty are our guiding principles. Not only did this guard show no regard for either, he went out of his way to upset our lady. How could one do such a thing? Even if we put it down to a rare moment of impulsivity. I have to say, I'm surprised to see one of such noble standing as yourself rushing to his defense. Darn it! This guy is good. Annoyingly good. Funny. I'm suddenly reminded of an anecdote I'd like to share with you. There's not been a dull moment since I took up my post in the Yashiro Commission. Every day, I've been exposed to new and fascinating things. For instance, a merchant from abroad once told me about a curious kind of bird with the most extraordinarily long tongue. So long, in fact, that you can tie two knots in the portion of it that extends out of its beak. I'm sure someone as erudite as yourself could be able to guess what people do with these unusual avians. Uh, keep them as pets. You'd think, wouldn't you? Mm, but there's a catch. You see, this bird is of no use to humans whatsoever, and certainly doesn't make a suitable pet. If you catch one, the best thing you can do is actually cut its tongue off and throw it out of the window. The reason they give is this. The longest tongue has the most to say, but don't be deceived as it chirps away, lest the song it sings lead you astray. You... I say, Yashiro Commissioner, are you here simply to mock the Konjo Commission? Far from it. 
In my mind, the Kanjo Commission is made up of honorable individuals, upright and forthright, conscientious and loyal. It is unbecoming of such people to resort to lies, deception, and filibustering, all as part of a plan to remove Lady Hiragi from her position in the Kanjo Commission. Yashiro Commissioner, please don't make accusations without any evidence. The evidence is standing right in front of me, is it not? I have a credible witness who can confirm you were quick to try and make him disappear as soon as he said something that you did not like. Ugh, dear me. I can't believe the Grand Matsura clan is now represented by... someone with less of a sense of loyalty than even an ordinary servant. You studied hard and took a government position, only to make it to where you are now just to play these petty power games behind the scenes. I'm not sure whether it's because you're smart enough to play the system, or too foolish to know any better. In your years of service to the Shogun, not only have you managed to glean nothing good from the people around you, you have also let yourself be blinded by self-interest. And now you have ruined your once bright future. I'm not angry, Mr. Matsura. I just feel sorry for you. <laughs> Is that right? Then tell me, if you're so bright, what exactly do you think you can do to me? This is at most a Kanjo Commission issue. We'll handle this amongst ourselves. You are reaching rather outside of your bounds, Yashiro Commissioner. If you seek to involve yourself in other clans' affairs, might I be so bold then as to question your motives in doing so? I think you are simply opposed to an alliance between the Kanjo Commission and Tinryo Commission. Because the new balance of power in the Tri-Commission would be a threat to you personally. So you come here with an elaborate excuse to try and break up this marriage. Hm. So, that's how you view it. Well, I have to admit, you clearly are far more talented than I at monitoring the power balance within the Tri-Commission. Let me be crystal clear. This wedding is going to happen, and nothing is going to change that. The notices have already been sent out. All of Inazuma City knows about it now. Most of the public weren't aware that Kujo Kamaji and Hiragi Chisato were courting. But you can bet it's all anybody's talking about now. Once the notices go out, that's it. The wedding is a sure thing, even if it hasn't happened just yet. Hmm. I see. It seems like I was wrong. <laughs> So suddenly, we see eye to eye. I had expected you to at least be smarter than most. Uh, but it seems that I was gravely mistaken. Kamisato Ayoto! You! How dare you! You've made your move. Now, I suppose it's time I made mine. What do you mean? Do you seriously think this marriage will bring the Kanjo Commission and the Tenryo Commission together? Isn't it at all possible that the Kanjo Commission becomes... marginalized as a consequence of this union? Hmm? Goodness me. Well, I've learned a great deal from talking to you. That will be all for now. If you would excuse me, I shall take my leave. They had their scheme, but fortunately I was prepared. As I said, they ended up coming out from the shadows and revealing themselves. Let's see how things are in Inazuma City. Then, I'll take you through the details of my plan. Look at this! 
the daughter of the Kanjo Commission's Haragi clan and the master of the Tenryo Commission's Kujo clan are getting married. <laughs> Sounds like an all-around perfect match, don't you think? For sure. I'm just surprised. It seems very sudden. I hadn't heard a single word about it until now. Good luck to them, I say. I'm sure it must have been a hard decision. Looks like the wedding is definitely going ahead. And it's still too early to make that conclusion. Our adversary wants to push this marriage past the point of no return. However, we can still beat them at their own game. But only if Kujo Kamaji is willing to help us. Welcome. I just heard that the news of my wedding has been officially announced. It seems so sudden. I wasn't ready yet. Yeah, about that. Um, it's kind of complicated. I see. So someone's trying to take advantage of our marriage. If you proceed with the wedding, the repercussions for you are likely to be minimal. But, we must take Lady Hiragi's situation into consideration. I've previously considered this possibility. But in the end, we're getting married for true love. And I've promised to her that I'll do everything in my power to protect her. I understand where you're coming from, but to be frank, she should not need your protection. Or, to put it another way, you have tacitly admitted that Lady Hiragi will need your help to get through the hard times ahead. Which perhaps suggests that, deep down, you realize all she stands to lose. I... I don't mean to criticize you. It is natural to want to protect our loved ones. You're an intelligent and gentle person, and I'm sure you would have been able to think about this more objectively were you not so emotionally involved in the situation. I'm sure you admire Lady Hiragi for being the independent, gentle, resilient, and strong-willed person she is. For the sake of marrying you, this wonderful woman will become someone who has to depend on you for the rest of her life. Are you really okay with that? Uh, I love her with all my heart, and would do anything to make her happy. That's why I cannot abide to see her suffer or be manipulated by other people. Yashiro Commissioner, you're right. It was naive and selfish of me to take things this far. But it's too late now, isn't it? There are notices everywhere. I have a plan, but it needs a villain. Sir Kujo, in order for my plan to work, you and I must both play the role of antagonists. But it is not without its risks. Are you willing to help? If there's a way to salvage this, then let's hear it. I've told the people at the Kanjo Commission that the marriage isn't going to unify the Kanjo Commission and the Tenryo Commission. On the contrary, it's a terrible idea that will marginalize the Kanjo Commission. The context for this is that they are planning to use this marriage to bring down the Hiragi clan, and the key to their success is coming up against no resistance to the marriage from the Tenryo Commission. But what if we were to imagine for a moment that since the affairs of the Vision Hunt Decree, the Tenryo Commission has been planning to make a move against the weakened Kanjo Commission? The only reason you have been hesitant to act since taking over the Tenryo Commission is because you care about Lady Hiragi's feelings. And so, your plan is to liaise with the Yashiro Commission, to marry her and bring her out of the Kanjo Commission as soon as possible. Once that is achieved, as the person in charge of the Tenryo Commission, you no longer have any reason to hesitate. I see. This is an ingenious plan. It takes advantage of the situation perfectly. Exactly. 
Our purpose is to change Lady Hiragi's position from an unnecessary burden to an indispensable asset. By doing so, we can even strengthen her position in the Kanjo Commission. Once our adversaries realize how the network of connections behind the scenes really looks, they'll do their utmost to stop this wedding from happening. Then, we simply leave them to clear up the mess they've created. Got it. So, the network of connections... Oh, this is all way too complicated for Paimon. Can you just tell us what you need us to do? We have to make sure that the behind-the-scenes story comes to the attention of our dear friends in the Kanjo Commission. Matsura, with whom I spoke earlier, will now be fearing the worst. No doubt he'll be on the lookout for the first sign of a crisis. In that case, he will almost certainly have placed informants throughout Inazuma City. What we need to do is to use these informants as a breeding ground for our fake intel. Sir Kujo, there are certain things that I need you to attend to personally. It's almost time. My ninja has located one of the informants. Let's go and see if he'll take the bait. Healthy body, healthy mind. That person is one of Matsura's informants. Let's follow him. Be careful not to get seen. Did you see that? Sir Kujo Kamaji just came past here with a huge group of people. Could it be related to the wedding announcement? Hmm, maybe, but from the look on his face, it seems like something much more serious. He and his men seem pretty intense at the moment. Isn't it all a bit excessive for a wedding? The Tenryo Commission has sent a load of people to Rito. I guess it must have something to do with the wedding. I think in all there must have been about a hundred people so far. That doesn't sound good. What could be going on? Uh, I hope it's just Sir Kujo Kamaji being overcautious. The news is spreading fast. But it appears Master's fears may be well placed. There's no way they sent this many people just to escort the bride. I have to investigate. He ran off! <laughs> As expected. Let's follow him. Wow! It's like the whole Terio Commission is here! Excuse me. Has something happened on this road? 
I'm a businessman passing through, and it's a little disconcerting to see this place so heavily guarded. Ah, please don't be alarmed. As I'm sure you've heard, the wedding of Sir Kujo Kamaji and Lady Hiragi Chisato will take place any day now. Sir Kujo decided to send for Lady Hiragi ahead of time, and have her live in Inazuma City during the run-up to the wedding. I see. We are here to clear the way for Lady Hiragi. Not just us, either. You'll see more Tenryo Commission members as you go further along. We're all here for the same duty. Um... Isn't this a little excessive? Sir Kujo holds Lady Hiragi in the highest regard, and wants to treat her with the utmost respect from beginning to end. I understand. Sorry to disturb your work. Drat. It's exactly as Master feared. They say they're here to guard the road? But really, they're poised to attack if Master doesn't allow Lady Uragi to leave Rito. Wait, no. If Lady Uragi does leave, they'll have all the more reason to strike. But we're in no state to defend against a Tenryo Commission attack. I must tell Master right away. He ran off again! That should do it. The seeds have been sown. In this atmosphere, mounting suspicion will nurture fear among the Kangjo Commission. Now, we wait patiently for it to grow and ferment. The calm before the storm is always the part that unsettles people the most. Are they really gonna own up and apologize just like that? If you're curious to find out, you can visit the Hiragi clan in Rito in a couple of days. I have some other business to attend to, so I won't be spending any more time on this situation. In any case, We've made our move. It's only a matter of time before they give up and surrender. <laughs> this is not my first time. Well then, goodbye for now. I truly hope that things will work out in Hiragi Chisato's best interests. He left kind of abruptly. Are things really gonna turn out like he predicted? Too. Well, let's go to Rito again in two days. 